I want to give you a new way of thinking about encryption using science fiction. Sci-fi is actually a pretty useful tool for policy nerds like me because it lets us imagine potential tomorrows so we can make better tech policy decisions today. The most obvious example is George Orwell's Surveillance Dystopia 1984. Orwell's tale of Big Brother is especially relevant in the internet age as countries like Russia, China, and Saudi Arabia are using the internet as a tool of control, broadly surveilling their populations while also blocking wide swaths of internet content. Meanwhile, even democracies like the United States of America and Great Britain are also conducting mass surveillance of the internet backbone that carries all of our most private data. Another possible future is what science fiction writer Peter Watts has called the maelstrom. Imagine, basically, a digital Mad Max wasteland, a war of all against all. The internet is a failed state where no one is safe, but where we all have to live and work. That's the maelstrom. And those are very possible futures right now. The dystopian order of 1984 and the dystopian chaos of the maelstrom. Luckily, encryption helps us avoid both of those dystopias. To put it another way, encryption is a double duty dystopia destroyer. It protects your data from identity thieves and stalkers and hackers. It protects your company's data against corporate spies. It protects our government's data from other government spies. In short, it protects us against the maelstrom but it also protects us from 1984 by making it much, much harder for governments to engage in mass surveillance. It basically forces them to fish with a pole rather than with a net, targeting specific people or data or devices rather than being able to sweep in data of millions of innocent people. And although encryption will cause some problems for some law enforcement investigators, it will also help stop countless other crimes. So help us all avoid both 1984 and the maelstrom. Use encryption. Fight for your right to use encryption. And read more science fiction. You'll be glad you did.